Do you wish a smart home? Okay, yes. Isn't it something for the far future? The current ones seem to be expensive and offer only a few relevant functions. And they are certainly not so smart as you, Charlie. And if you want really something relevant and interesting, you are going to pay. I think that a good platform must be more flexible and it must fit to our creative mind. Yes, we homeowners, we are the creative minds. Especially if we are do-it-yourself. A smart home must fit us like a shirt. Hello and welcome to another episode, I dare to say a chapter, of Energy Home Do-It-Yourself. I'm Norbert Vaassen, energy engineer, and if you have followed my channel, you know how passionate I am about empowering homeowners to take control of their energy situation. Today I am thrilled to introduce you to something that is not only a game changer for your energy home, but you can also make other things in your home smart, without putting all your privacy on the street. No, here is a co community that has respect for your need for privacy. I present you Home Assistant. Now, before we dive in, let me tell a bit about my background. Over quite some years, I've worked with some pretty advanced energy monitoring systems, in particular with Siemens Advantage Navigator which is a monitoring system for building technology. I did that in the center of competence for building technology in Switzerland. After leaving, I invented a more convenient and portable energy monitoring system, the Energy Consumption Graph, or ECG, like the electrocardiograph, and I wanted it to be similar, and I tried to get a patent on it. There was so much legal work that I was already happy to have a trademark on it. Yes, I was really convinced that industrials and other big organizations needed a quick and easy system. They needed an easier access to energy information. But as powerful as these systems are, they are made for big organizations. Today I am here to tell you about a system which is really for your home. It has so many functions, it is open, world famous and very friendly for a do-it-yourself. Yes, we are talking about Home Assistant. Ok Inabu, open the shades. Open. Turn on the stairs lights. Turn on the lights. Ok Nabu, set the lights to green. So what makes Home Assistant so special? Well, unlike some other platforms for smart homes like uh, Alexa or Google Home, Home Assistant is an open source platform. This means it's not only highly customizable, but also powered by a worldwide community of contributors that constantly add new features, integrations and improvements. That's also the reason that it fits so, to so many uh, things that are in your home already, because there's always someone who has exactly that what you have in, in house and that in some way uh, managed to integrate that also in the home assistant. So if you like tinkering and making things working exactly as you want, then Home Assistant is your playground. For me it is, because I'm often developing things that you cannot find in the shops. Well, the components are there, so you can also make them. In order to monitor and to control those uh, strange uh, things that I make, it's really much better to have uh, the flexibility of this open system. In that way, I can not only share with you how to build it and where to find the components, but I can also share with you the software that's needed to run these inventions. 
Now don't get me wrong, Alexa and Google Home have their places, especially if you are looking for simplicity and ease of use, but they have limitations. For one, they are closed systems, meaning you are largely dependent on the features and the integrations that Alexa and Google Home are choosing for you. Like Henry Ford said, you can get the T model in any color, as long as it is black. Plus, these systems are more focused on voice control and automation. Home Assistant, on the other hand, has also voice control, but it lets also dig you deep into the heart of your smart home, integrating everything from your lights and thermostats to your PV system and even electricity pricing information through your smart meter and also the weather forecast to estimate what your PV might produce. And there's also a much wider choice because you are the one who chooses the functions in your home, not the big smart home kings. Controlling your home in all freedom is the thing of the future and not a menace to sustainable development. On the contrary, automation and electronic intelligence will help you to live better with less. And what is very positive about this uh, community of the platform is the uh, respect for privacy and the understanding that you want to live without Big Brother watching you. Also off-grid, so you can also run this uh, platform without uh, internet after it has been set up, at least for most of the functions. I'm also focused on your independence of the big infrastructures, which are ready to serve you as long as not too many persons are asking for their services and also as long as the management is able to pay for the maintenance. And that seems a problem with so many com competition and the promise of low prices. Also the environment itself is a menace for the reliability of those infrastructures. The climate is going crazy and I want to help you to prepare for that. Therefore I need you to help me grow. Your subscription is as a vote. It's free for you, but empowering for me. Share this video with all the people that like independence and a healthy planet. Let's return to Energy Home, something I know many of you are deeply interested in. With Home Assistant, you can not only monitor your energy consumption, but also optimize it. You can set up automations to turn off appliances when the electricity prices spike or schedule your big consumers, also for example your batteries, for when your PV panels are generating the most power. Imagine to have that level of control, knowing that you are making your smart home as efficient as possible without lifting a finger. In one of the upcoming videos, I'll be showing you exactly how to integrate your energy monitoring with Home Assistant using tools like the Shelly sensor and many other things which can track your power consumption in real time. And if you are using already smart plugs or other compatible devices, I will show you how Home Assistant can find them automatically and how they can be configured to work with your smart home, giving you an attractive view on your desktop, on your tablet or on your telephone of your home energy profile, but also things like entertainment or security. And it doesn't stop here. Home Assistant can also pull in data from your PV system, providing solar forecasts, and it knows where you are on the map. And as it is also a closed system with uh, the respect for your privacy, no other will know that, uh, providing solar forecasts, and even calculate your CO2 footprint based on your energy usage. So you could really make a kind of a program where you can see from week to week they reduce your carbon footprint. And all this information is available at your fingertips, no matter where you are in the world. Home Assistant isn't just about energy, it's about making your home smart and more responsive to what you want. Whether it's adjusting your thermostat before you get home, controlling your lights based on the time of day or a voice command, or also managing your home security system. Home Assistant does it all. 
You can create custom dashboards with a map of your house also that change dynamically based on the conditions you set, giving you a really personalized experience of your home. In the coming weeks, I will be diving deep into these matters, showing you how to create your own home automations, set up conditional cards on your dashboard and much more. I have also very high expectations on my own development of the double energy storage with a heat pump in between. A very normal and cheap mobile air conditioner. But it needs a bit of control to run in an optimized way, depending on solar input, state of the batteries, the temperature of the cold and the hot water, and also the demand of heat and cold. I will revisit this project of the last year, because it's a way to store PV energy in a very cheap medium, much cheaper than electrical batteries, avoiding to sell any energy from the PV at a very low price to the grid. There's a lot to cover and I'm excited to take you on this journey with me. So if you're ready to take your home automation to the next level and stay independent, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. We are going to cover everything from getting started with home assistant to advanced energy management strategies. And I promise you, this is going to be fun, informative and incredibly empowering. And remember, Home Assistant isn't just a tool, it's a platform, it's a, it's a community that puts you in control. Whether you are a seasoned do-it-yourselfer or just starting out, there's something here for everyone. Let's make your home not just smarter, but truly intelligent, like you, Charlie. And green, of course. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you now in the next related video. It is on a small, cheap heat pump with at both sides a thermal storage. Hot and cold, and it's dirt cheap, this kind of energy storage. And it doubles the efficiency of this heat pump.